All right, guys, how's it going? Sports Gaming Fever here. We're going to be doing some franchise mode in NHL 20. Um, and I decided to go with the Anaheim Ducks. Uh, I didn't want to waste the time of uh, recording the setup, but it's all the standard settings. Uh, basically, just exactly how <clears throat> EA sets it up. So, first thing first, uh, let's edit our lines just to see where things are at right now and then we'll look at all our players um yeah we want the head coach doing the lines i probably won't be adding lines too much all right so we got 23 year old great potential we top six low so he might wind up being more of a second liner we obviously have getzloff whose contract oh he only has two years remaining but that's still a lot we're going to be wanting to rebuild uh raquel should be our first line center silver silverberg um 28 preferably second line so both of these wingers second line is what we're after henrique is a center isn't he yeah um so preferably he's our second line center raquel's up there these guys drop down and we find two wingers for the first line. Shore there. He's good on the third line. He should be fourth. Sprung 22, I'm fine with him on the third, getting some experience. Steel, yeah, you're good to develop on the fourth. You're good on the fourth. Oh, you're better on the fourth, so we don't really even need Rowney. Maybe as like a reserve. What's your contract? Eh. Yeah, having you as a reserve is good. So basically that... Oh no, we want this. So we want a third line left winger. First line left winger. First line second one. I guess Sprong would move over? No, okay, so this is what we could do. I'm just moving around to kind of see what I want. Henrique, preferably, yeah, here. So getting rid of Getzlaff, getting rid of Rowney. Um, this is what our second line would look like, but they're minus one overall for how their line fit is. And it's really Henrique who doesn't fit with Case of Silver. But we'll see if that gets sorted out with like experience eventually. Um, yeah, moving Sprong to the left wing, we can see how that does. We can always move Richie to the left wing, too. But, well, I think that's a decent third line. Um, and then you are fourth line. I suppose we could use you there and get rid of you or leave you as a reserve. Yeah, that's better. That contract. We're playing around you more. You might as well play. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I'll go back to best for now. Defense, Lindholm, great great guy to have as our top, I think. Um, we'll probably improve a bit. Manson, probably where he's at, preferably on the second, but that's fine for now. Fowler, in 83, and your contract is hefty. So you might want to move on from Fowler, because that, that's a big cap hit. Larson, you're young. I prefer you down here. Goal, good potential, Delzato. What's your contract? Okay, yeah. So I like this, really getting rid of Fowler there and kind of replacing it with someone or a top guy moving Manson down. Because um, I like Larson getting the experience here, given his uh, top four medium status. You're also top four medium. So maybe it's like moving him down, Larson down. Um, into Delzato's position, getting rid of Fowler. Yeah, I, I think that's the uh, way to do it. Gibson, great goaltender, 26. Good contract, eight years for 6.4. That brings him till he's 34. Uh, hopefully the cap goes up and something that won't matter. Ryan Miller. Uh, you're good as a backup. Yeah, so goalies are good. Don't need to worry about goaltending. 
until uh, next season. All right. And so I want to look at the roster moves just to see what else we have. Um, so if we go by center, yeah, Getzlov we're going to want to part ways with for sure. No, I don't want to send him down. Is there... Uh, I can't really add him to the trade block from here. Raquel Henrique is good. That cap hit, but if he's a second-line center, that's okay. Uh, how many years is your contract, Raquel? Three years. Okay, that's good. Um, Shore is fine. Okay, so we have some depth at center. Um, left wing definitely needs to work on. We don't really have... <laughs> Great left winger. Right wing is okay. Obviously, we need top right, top left. Defenseman. That's all we have up. Uh, let me look quick at in the system. Oh, so he's a good pro uh, prospect. So hopefully he he'll he'll get top line minutes in the AHL. Okay, cool. Um, we don't really need like a goalie prospect, so I'm not worried about that. Pretty set for goalie. Okay, so. We're immediately going to try to make a couple trades. So let's go to the trade finder. Let's see who is willing to offer something for Getzlov. His trade value is good. No trades. It's the it's the contract, I'm sure. Though it's interesting that his trade value is that high. Um, how about for Fowler? Probably. Oh, wrong buttons. Probably nothing as well. Oh no, it's loading. Okay. That's the only deal. Yeah, a second and a third ain't bad, honestly. Belmare, 3476 overall. Um, let's remove and see if we can get somebody else, because I like this deal, honestly. Oh, draft picks. I'm curious to what, see what we have. Okay, we have everything. Uh, not a fourth, not a seventh. But we have the top three, uh, which I think is most important. So I'd even just take another pick here, but uh, let's look at your rookie skaters. Makar. Oh, it'd be great to nail Makar, actually. Because what's your overall right now? 83, you're young. Um, do we know that that's your trade value, 100%? No, we don't. It's probably more, so we might need to hold off on that. Um, Byram, we're not 100% sure on everything. Wait, what happened? Oh, it'd be great to add him, though. Another good defensive prospect. Though, I think we need, like, more forward prospects. This guy would be good. He's not even signed. 18. Did they just pick him up? Yeah, 2019 third round. Uh, let's see if they would go for that. No, what if I add a pick? Because I think that's a good prospect to have. But his trade value is scouted at three bars instead of four. So his trade value might be a bit more. But let's throw in a fifth and see if they'll go for that. No? Okay. Um... Oh, their picks are from next year. Well, we don't have a fourth rounder this year. Let's see if that will work. Okay, it will. And so we can cheat a little bit here. 
and try for that third because we know it will go through oh okay um okay what if we add another pick to this what if we try for that fourth as well they'll do that all right why not try for another pick next year's fourth as well okay yeah let's do that um yeah because Fowler is at 83 overall horrible contract for that for that level uh for that overall rating seven years too what he's 27 that brings him till he's 34 yeah not not happy with that so um yeah there's no way we'd get the first especially because they're not willing to give it up they're willing to give up all this so i say we do that i think that's a good trade especially because we're a little bit in rebuild mode um not like a full rebuild uh, kind of so let's take a look at our draft picks now. First, a second, a third, a third, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth. A first, a second, a second, a third, a third, a fourth, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, a seventh. So we're pretty stacked on uh, those picks. Um, so that is good. Let's. Go back into find a trade. Um, and let's look for other teams, players. Yeah, Kessel would be great for that trade value. Kraus is up and coming. Nothing really there. By the way, these are the rosters as of September 18th. Actually, I'm interested in seeing the Bruins are my hometown team. I want to see where they ranked Clifton. 67 still? I mean, it's only three bar accuracy. Not sure about that. Krug starting at an 87. Now, McAvoy almost an 88 now. I mean, it was different from the last, like, the original one on September 5th. So I was just interested in seeing that. Um, we need a first line center. No, we don't need a first line center. I'm sorry. We need wingers. So let's just be, let's be looking at left wingers. Right wingers. Reinhardt would be good. His potential is top six, so he'll probably he'll get better because he's 23. That wouldn't be bad, and that trade value isn't bad, even though it's just three bars, so we can't be sure. But, ooh, and then Skinner, though, that contract, man. Can't keep glued to that. No trades for Reinhardt, so we're going to have to do that manually, but I am going to target Reinhardt. Um, so propose trade. Forgot for a second what I was looking at. Okay. So, Reinhardt, what can we give up? Who do they want? Matching the block is key. They want some younger players. Wow, we have a lot of good prospects, actually. So, it's not too much of a rebuild. Wow, we have a lot. Like all these young guys? I tried Tracy. What was... Where was he picked? Oh, he was the first rounder from this past year. I'm not going to do that. This guy... Oh, that's Richie. Uh, Terry, 22. He was a fifth rounder. His role right now is as a fourth liner. Top six medium potential. He might make it to like a third liner. I'd like to hold on to him. 
first rounder from 2016. Well, if we're getting Reinhardt, uh, this isn't going to go through, but okay. Um, so we could add, we got a slew of picks. So let's look at, oh, they only want first round. Oh, oh never mind, from the next year, they're fine. Oh, let's go with our third from next year. And just see if we can get like a seventh in return. Okay, it's going to take more than that. I guess we could go with a second. Colorado's second. Try for that fifth. Trevor that seventh. Try for that nothing. <laughs> no, I didn't take it out. There we go. Hmm. So I was thinking, because what I've done before is when you do find trade, um, it doesn't always come up with something, but like you might be able to wiggle in a a deal. I don't want to give up a first round pick. Oh, what do they want for goalies? Only Gibson. Morand. Yeah, let's add him. Let's take away that second. So we're extending ourselves a little bit here. But we figure out our first line right winger issue. No. Okay. Well. We'll try for another deal. Calgary's next on the agenda. Left winger. Chuck Beltier. Nope. Right winger. Lindholm. And there's Fro Leak. Yeah, Lenholm would be great. Elite Low. But I mean, already an 86 overall. It's churning a lot, so it looks like it'll come up with something. Really? After all that time? Um, okay, let's see if we can work something out for Lindholm. right wing okay I was looking at on that long list for all the left wingers um, it's a guy Miranda. what was it also Terry or Tracy that we were no. Uh, sure, let's go for Copac. Uh, that's obviously not going to be enough. Always matching block. Dostow. Great potential. I'd rather him uh, develop a bit because his trade value will go up. So we will work something out for them later. Colorado's second next year. Okay, this can be risky. Let's go for our first from next year. And then I suppose one of those prospects ran.
Maybe another draft pick. Sure, Toronto's. That's not going to be great. Ooh, it's going to be a tough one. All right. I think we're going to keep looking for deals. Um, and in the next video, hopefully we'll make one, bring someone on board, and then uh, start the sim. Even if we don't fill all our gaps, we'll, we'll start up the sim and uh, we'll figure out from there. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.